Welcome to the chapter Nutrition. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. First, let us learn about nutrition and its importance. The process of intake of food, its digestion and distribution to different parts of the body is termed as nutrition. In simple words, nutrition is the process of acquiring energy and materials for growth. Some substances like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, etc. present in the food that support the growth of organisms and provide raw materials for the biosynthesis of the body constituents are called nutrients. Generally, nutrients are classified into three groups namely Energy yielding carbohydrates and fats Body building proteins Growth regulating or protective Organisms need food for various purposes such as to Grow and get energy to perform various life activities Repair the damaged cells and tissues Produce enzymes and hormones, which are essential to carry out and maintain proper life activities and develop resistance against diseases. Now, let us learn about the classification of different types of nutrition found in organisms. Generally, Organisms differ each other in their modes of deriving nutrients from the environment. Based on the mode of obtaining food, organisms are classified into two types. They are autotrophs, heterotrophs. Hence, there are mainly two modes of nutrition. They are autotrophic nutrition, heterotrophic nutrition. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their own food. It occurs in the leaves of a plant. Every green plant contains a green pigment called chlorophyll, which develops complex organic molecules from simple compound in the presence of sunlight. C. B. Van Niel formulated a simple equation on photosynthesis in the year 1931. 
His idea was for each molecule of carbohydrate formed, one molecule of water and one molecule of oxygen is also produced. This is a very simplified equation and does not reflect the complexity of the process of photosynthesis. Yet, we shall use it for now. Plants are capable of synthesizing carbohydrates and all other compounds like proteins, fats, etc. Animals depend on plants for food such as carbohydrates because they are not capable of synthesizing carbohydrates on their own. Now, let us do an activity to verify the production of carbohydrates by plants during the process of photosynthesis. The process of photosynthesis takes place in two major phases. They are light reaction, dark reaction. In light reaction, light plays an important role. Here, a series of chemical reactions takes place one after another initiated by light. Hence, this phase is technically termed as photochemical phase. The reactions of the light take place in thylakoid membrane which is present in chlorophyll. Thylakoids are termed as grana of chloroplasts. Following are the steps involved in light reaction. Step 1. When sunlight falls on the plant, the chlorophyll present on the leaf absorbs light energy and becomes activated. The absorbed energy excites electrons to the higher energy level. Step 2. This energy is used to split the water molecule into two component ions. It is given by the equation shown on the screen. The above reaction is termed as photolysis, which means splitting by using light, that is photo, light, lysis, breaking. Step 3. The highly reactive ions of water split in two different directions as hydroxyl and hydrogen ions. The hydroxyl ions through a series of steps produce water and oxygen. The water produced may be used inside the plant and the gas oxygen is released into the atmosphere. The hydrogen ions undergo series of changes in dark reaction. Adenosine triphosphate ATP and nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide hydrogen phosphate NADPH are produced at the end of the light reaction. These are called as assimilatory powers. These ATP and NADPH are used in sugar making process. Let us learn about dark reaction. The term dark reaction does not imply that this reaction occurs only in the dark or during the night. This reaction indicates that it do not require light energy. However, it occurs simultaneously with the light reaction. Hydrogen ions produced in photolysis are instantly picked up by a special compound NADP to form NADPH. During the dark phase reaction, the hydrogen of the NADPH combines with the carbon dioxide with the help of ATP energy in order to produce glucose. This reaction occurs in a number of steps by using some special intermediate compounds, mainly RUBP, ribulose, biphosphate and enzymes. Finally, the obtained glucose is converted into starch. During the process of photosynthesis, several proceedings occur in the chloroplast. Some of them are converting light energy into chemical energy, 
splitting of water molecule, reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. Once light energy has been captured, it can help the dark reactions to initiate several events, even in the dark, and some may continue even in the absence of light. Light dependent events or reactions are called light reactions and they take place in grana, while the rest are called dark reactions and they occur in the stroma. Plants have the capacity to work under any situations, such as from very lighted hot dry conditions to wet, humid dim light conditions. The requirement of light and other factors change from one plant to another. The digestive system is different in different organisms. For example, in a single-celled organisms like amoeba, the food may be consumed from the entire surface, but as the size of the organism increases, the pots become specialized and perform different functions. The nutrition in amoeba is shown on screen. The amoeba takes in food by using pseudopodia as shown in image. This pseudopodia looks like temporary finger extensions of the cell surface which fuses over the food particle forming food vacuole. Inside the food vacuole, the complex substances of food particles are crushed down with the help of enzymes into simpler ones and then diffuse into the cytoplasm. The undigested food particles are moved down to the surface of the cell and are thrown out. In other unicellular organisms like paramecium, the cell has a definite shape and the food is taken in from a particular place and this food is moved to the place by the movement of cilia that covers the entire surface of the cell where the food gets swallowed. Let us learn in detail about parasitic nutrition in Cascuta. A particular species in Cascuta is Dodder. It does not contain any leaves. It is a twining, parasitic plant that belongs to Morning Splendor family. These species generally contain 170 twining species and are broadly distributed throughout the moderate and tropical regions of the world. The Dodder species does not contain chlorophyll. It absorbs food through hostoria, which are root-like organs that penetrate towards the tissue of a host plant and even may kill it. But it has been found that Cascuta reflexa contains a very small amount of chlorophyll. The thin, string-like stems of the daughter may be of different colors like yellow, orange, pink or brown. The daughter's flowers are of tiny yellow or white bell-like lobed corollas, united petals. Let us now learn about the formation of dodder. The dodder seed grows slowly and forms an anchoring root and grows in a spiral fashion and reaches a host plant. It then waves around the stem of the host plant and throws out hostoria, which diffuses it. The water for the species is drawn through the hostoria of the corresponding host plant stem and xylem and the nutrients are drawn from its phloem. In the meantime, the root decays after stem contact has been made with a host plant. As the daughter grows on, it sends out new hostoria and sets strongly on the host plant. Suppose, after growing a few spirals, if the host decays, then the daughter finds another way and continues to wave and branch until it looks like or becomes a fine, densely tangled web of thin stems enveloping the host plant. Now, let us learn about nutrition in human beings. When compared to the digestive system of other organisms, human digestive system is very complex where different parts perform different functions by using various digestive juices and enzymes. Image on the screen shows the elementary canal of man. 
the alimentary canal is a long tube extending from the mouth to the anus as indicated in the image. This tube has various regions which perform different functions. Generally, every one of us get doubt about what happens to the food once it enters into our body and how it gets digested in the alimentary canal. Let us learn more. Usually, everything we eat passes through the same digestive area. The process of taking food into the body is called ingestion. Naturally, the food has to be processed to generate simpler particles from the complex substances because the particles must be small enough to be picked up by our body. The texture also needs to be easily absorbed. Let us discuss in detail about the steps involved in the passage of food through elementary canal or gut. The food we eat is chewed by our teeth in the mouth. This chewed food is mixed with saliva to make it wet and slippery. The saliva is produced by three pairs of salivary glands that are situated at the side of the jaw and below the tongue. The tongue helps in mixing the food and forwarding it to the next part and the lower jaw also helps in the whole process. These parts help in the smooth passage of food through our elementary canal to the stomach. Saliva contains an enzyme amylase named as tyalin which helps to break down the complex substances of food into simpler ones so that they can be used by the body with the help of enzymes. This process is termed as digestion. Let us now learn about the movement of food from esophagus to stomach. It is technically called peristaltic movement. The soft food that is mixed with saliva passes through esophagus or food pipe to the stomach by a wave-like movement called peristaltic movement. In the stomach, the food gets mixed with gastric juice and HCL which is in a semi-solid condition. The digestion of food goes on as most proteins are broken down into smaller molecules with the help of enzyme pepsin acting on them. Chyme is the process in which the proteins and carbohydrates of the soft, slimy substance of food are broken down. The food now passes from the stomach to the small intestine which contains ring-like muscles, called as sphincters. These sphincters are responsible for opening the valve so that an only small quantity of the food material enters into the small intestine at a time. Let us learn about the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal. Here, the complete digestion of carbohydrates proteins and fats takes place. Small intestine receives the secretion of liver and pancreas for the purpose of digestion. The process of digesting the fats by converting them into small bubble-like substances with the help of the bile juice that is secreted from liver is called emulsification. Proteins and lipase for fats are digested with the help of enzymes like trypsin present in pancreatic juice. Walls of the small intestine secrete intestinal juice which helps in breaking down of small molecules of proteins into further smaller molecules. The same process is repeated for fats. The process of digestion of carbohydrates starts in the mouth. It resumes in the stomach when the food is converted into an alkaline form. Here, the enzymes responsible for the breakdown of carbohydrates become active. Let us learn the function of villi in digestive system. The process of transporting the digestion of products from the intestine into blood through the wall of intestine is called 
absorption. Internally, the intestinal wall contains a number of fingers like projections called as villi. The villi increases the surface area for absorption. Blood vessels and lymph vessels are present inside the villi in the form of a network. The digestion of products are first absorbed by the villi and then passes into the blood vessels and lymph vessels. With the help of small intestine, the maximum amount of digested food is sent to various parts of the body through blood. Remaining amount of the food material passes to the large intestine. Large intestine reabsorbs maximum amount of water from the remaining food material. This material is then passed through the anus which is the last part of the elementary canal. The process of passing of undigested material from the body through the anus is called defecation. Food that comes out from the anus still contains significant amounts of proteins, fats and carbohydrates, roughages or fibers of either carbohydrates or proteins. Food Deficiency Diseases Food is the main source in order to maintain the biological processes in a perfect manner. To protect our body from food deficiency diseases, proper diet should be taken. That is the balance of food which contains proper amount of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, mineral salts and fats. Two thirds of the world's population is mainly affected by the food related diseases. Most of them are facing various types of diseases due to the lack of balanced diet and some of them are suffering by taking high calorific food. If the food which we intake do not contain required amount of nutrients, then it is called as malnutrition. The reasons for malnutrition in our country are mainly due to poor health, willful starvation, lack of awareness of nutritional habits, socio-economic factors. Malnutrition is of three types. They are calorie malnutrition, protein malnutrition, protein calories malnutrition. The harmful effects of malnutrition caused in children are Kwashiorkor disease occurs due to deficiency of proteins in diet. Symptoms Body becomes swollen due to the shortage of water in the intercellular spaces. Poor development of muscle, swollen legs, fluffy face, difficult to eat, diarrhea, dry skin. Marasmus occurs due to deficiency of both proteins and calories and also when there is an immediate second pregnancy or repeated childbirths. Symptoms Lean and weak, swelling limbs, less developed muscles, dry skin, diarrhea, etc. Obesity occurs due to overeating and excess of energy intake, it is a big health hazard. Symptoms An obese child when grows suffer from diseases like diabetes, cardiovascular, renal and gallbladder. Drawing Skills The drawing section helps you to sketch images in a step-by-step -step manner. Click each tab to know more.
drag and drop puzzle. From the image on screen, identify the parts of the transfer section of leaf. The first one is done for you. Drag and drop puzzle. From the image on screen, identify the parts of the digestive system from mouth to anus. The first one is done for you. Answer the given questions by choosing the right option. Explanation Enzymes like tylin or salivary amylase, amylase act on carbohydrates. Enzymes like trypsin, Pepsin acts on proteins. Bile juice does not contain any enzymes. The enzyme pepsin is secreted by the stomach. Fill the given flowchart of the human digestive system by dragging and dropping the options onto the empty boxes respectively. Drag and drop the options onto the given tabular column respectively. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check 
Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Match the following. Select suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in bracket provided against A. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference.
follow up work. Take up the following activities. Write a note on von Helmont's experiments focusing on how he concluded that water was necessary for the growth of any plant. Collect different types of food materials prepared by various plants in your surroundings. Prepare an album by collecting images relating to food deficiency diseases from magazines, newspapers, internet, etc. Consult a doctor and collect information to overcome vitamin deficiency diseases. Collect information about the digestive system and display it on your school bulletin board. Observe the given image on the screen carefully and write a note on light-dependent and independent reactions. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test.